Welcome back everybody to episode 4, or attempt number 2, of the RimWorld Zombie City playthrough. So I've gone through all of the previous 3 slash 2 slash how many episodes there were of the of the series, and I've gone through and sort of found all the most common comments, and I've taken your feedback and I've tried to add them into this series. So what I've prepared for you, for your for your viewing pleasure, is, is this glorious list of things I've added and sort of changed about the current playthrough based on your feedback and based on what you guys want to see, and what I personally think would be good balance so that, you know, obviously it'd be kind of frustrating if we keep starting a new base every couple of episodes. Here. So to start off with, we are going to get an extra bonus colonist. Of course, I've added... We've got three colonists now, and all three names are suggested by you guys on yesterday's episode there. Some of them are just god-awful. Rain washes away filth mod I thought was actually fairly important. One of you actually suggested it, but I do kind of agree with it, because the more filth there is on a map, the slower the game will run. This will allow us to more naturally get rid of that, rather than me having to run like a, an in-game cleaning uh, mod. Water slash hygiene mods was a very, very common request. Now, a lot of you, this was very sort of uh, controversial. Some of you thought it would add too much difficulty. Some of it you thought would be necessary because, you know, we're in a literal survival situation. So getting water would be a top priority. Do kind of agree with that. There are certain things I've done to that, but we'll talk about later on, that I have made it a bit fairer for us as well. So we're not constantly having to focus on getting fresh water and shit like that. I've also given us the tree research from the get-go as well. Just thought that made some sense. That way we can get replenishable uh, wood if necessary. Ideally, we're not going to build out of that. But just in case it is important, we already start with that so that we're not completely screwed. Now, as for things I've taken away or adjusted with the pack to make it easier for us, tank zombies will no longer start, the spawn at the, uh, start to spawn at the start of the campaign because that is too overpowered. I didn't actually take into consider that although the actual spawn rate I had lowered, the amount of zombies on the map was higher, so the spawn rate was actually much, much higher as a result. Result. So now in theory we'll only see tank zombies, well we won't see any at all start off with here, as we progress through, as we build up a more fortified base, as we're capable of defending ourselves, we'll slowly increase the amount that we actually see throughout the series, but we're still going to keep it fairly low. The hygiene mod that I talked about earlier, now to make up the fact that we can just build obviously this big old fortress base to some extent, um, without tank zombies just coming and knocking down the walls or whatever, we start to worry about raids and mortars and drop pods and mechanoids and whatever else. But to make up for the fact that we can just st safely stay indoors to some extent, the hygiene mod is going to be present. We will now have to drink water to survive. But I've nerfed it down so they won't need to take a shower every five minutes. They won't have to go to the bathroom every five minutes. That's not too essential in a survival situation. But the water I thought was quite a nice little thing to make up for the fact that we are a little more safe now. And I've also made Toxic Fallout a little rarer just at the request of you guys as well. Mainly because it was a little too common before. I think I had it set to every 15 days. So instead it's, it's slightly rarer than that now. I think it's like uh, once every 25, 30 days instead. That being said, let's actually get on with the game then, now that we all know what we've got going on with us. I've made some alterations to this as well. I will actually upload this to Steam if you guys want. I, I've had a couple of requests for that. In fact, I will do it in a, in a second after we're done with today. Um... So that if you guys also want to also want to start with this, then you can do that as well. Another thing I've changed... Oh, I also start with water filtration, which is based on the hydrogen mod as well. I've made it so the planet killer turns up a bit sooner. Not super sooner, but a little bit sooner. And then uh, the toxic fallout is lower. But we also start with the escaped ship. I'll talk about more on that when we get into game as well. As for the difficulty, we are obviously going to go randy random. We are going to go savage. And we are going to go commitment mode. We're going to go with a complete random seed. Ready? Boom. Transit company. Couldn't think of anything more appropriate for transporting human beings off of this planet and making sure that everybody lives. That's the important thing. Everybody's got to live. And if we have to get on a ship to do it, that's how we're going to do it. Everything everything else I'm kind of fine with. Oh my god, suppress the hiccups already. Everything else I'm kind of fine with. It's a shame we can't make the world slightly smaller because obviously a lot of it we're not really going to see. It. It's kind of an unnecessarily sized world. There are mods that do that. And of course all the zombie settings are more or less the same there. Uh, tanky zombie operators are at lowest. Now it turns out the mining were actually zombies. We did actually get mining zombies, but they are just mining zombies as you can see there. So they'll only mine through rock. They won't mine through walls or anything like that. They don't deconstruct or damage. They just apparently go through mountains. Fingers crossed that is true. True, otherwise that would still be a problem, huh? We'll obviously find out as we get into things here. We got the still the same three days. There are 5,000 zombies on the map. It's a five times colony multiplier, which, for those of you who could do maths, means that we're going to get a lot of zombies. That kind of looks like the UK, doesn't it, a little bit? Even got, like, the Isle of Man there and everything. All right, where do we want to go for? Um, I'm going to say, let's... I mean, wherever we spawn, it's going to be an abandoned city regardless, for those of you who didn't see the first one. I would like to stick to one of these larger roads, mainly because I think it'll actually affect the way the city generates. If we can find a big old road on somewhere we can plant crops... More or less all year round, that could be ideal. I'd rather not live in the swamp if we can avoid it. What about like here? It's a forest. 40 out of 60 days. We do still have to worry about winter storage. It's on a big old road, so it's going to affect the way the city generates. It's also hills around as well. This one I think could be very, very interesting. Let's roll with it. 
as I said, with Prepare Carefully, I have changed our preset a little bit, and we've got some characters that I, I can't wait to introduce you to with. These are all names suggested by our lovely people in the comment section, and I've given them all some very special backstories, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you who they are and why they're here. Our first character here, Big Brain Delicious, doesn't in fact have a big brain, she just has water attention from when she was a- it's a, it's a permanent thing she's always had her entire life. Her, her head has swelled to the size of a space hopper, and as a kid, of course, she was horribly bullied about that in school. So, just, you know, to entertain the thought, to make an excuse now, kids like, Oh, I'm not fat, I'm big boned. She was like, I don't have a big old water filled head. I just have a big old brain because I'm so smart. She, as a joke, got into, uh, you know, astronomy to try and prove to the kids that, they were sh that she was smart. And there she found her passion. She found a passion in life. So this character is indeed our medical, our intellectual, our crafter. Moved on in life to become an inventor. She didn't invent anything useful, obviously, which is why you've never heard of Big Brain Delicious. But she is uh, a very smart character. Maybe it is fate. Maybe she was born with a big brain and the doctors were wrong. They clearly weren't. But maybe they could have been. She also knows some about shooting as well, because of course she's quite good mathematically. She can calculate vectors, that type of thing. Sh her traits, decent learner, because she's got that big old brain, or maybe she does, or maybe she doesn't. She's neurotic though. All that childhood bullying did come at a cost, and that cost is a mental break threshold plus 8%, but it does make her quicker at working as well. She's also a transhumanist. She believes that she will one day be freed of her very flawed and, and very fragile human shell, and that one day she will ascend to be greater. This is going to provide a little bit of challenge to this character, obviously, starting off with, because we're not going to have any bionics. In fact, this character could be a bit of a mess uh, in terms of mental skills, which is why she has high passions in very specific areas. She's going to be very, very useful in terms of colony. Medical survival, very important in a zombie apocalypse situation. Next, we have our mate Sean. You all know a guy called. You all know a guy like Sean, right? Sean Redman here. He's got a little bit of red on him there. He's a dreamer. As a child, just wanted to just wanted to shoot for the stars. Unfortunately, those stars are filled with zombies. Adulthood, he's a housemate. That's all he is. He just just he just lays around with his mate Dave, who I'll introduce you to later. He is a brave. He's a hardworking fella. Works in an appliance store, something along those lines. Anyway, it's an electronic store. I don't really remember off the top of my head. It's in the movie in ages. He's got a chemical interest though. Likes his drink, does Sean. He hasn't really got anything else going for him. He's 34. He's He's working in curries at minimum wage. You kind of expect him to have a little bit of an alcohol tolerance. But he really fucking loves Call of Duty. I mean, or was that in Spaced? Was that Shaun of the Dead or was that Spaced? Doesn't matter. He really loves shooting games. As a result, massive passion for shooting. Massive skill in shooting as well. Also, because he lives at home all day, or because all he does is go to work and then come home, he knows, he knows his way around the kitchen. He knows his way around plants, if you catch my meaning plants, chemical interest, if you catch my meaning. He's also a nice guy, you know, very social, good at keeping the gang together. That's going to be our boy Sean. Uh, and I think, like I said, we all know a guy like him. You know what to expect from him as well. Reliable sort. Then there's his mate Dave. Dave the Handyman. Or as, he, as his full name is Dave Smegma, as one of you suggested in the comment section. He just likes to be called Dave for hopefully obvious reasons. Dave He's a, he, as a kid, was kidnapped, unfortunately, which led to his gigantic, hulking figure of a man, which actually lent himself quite well, because he built his body up, because he didn't want to be, you know, he didn't want to be kidnapped again. Lent him very well to his job growing up as a handyman. If you need a dishwasher fitted, call my mate Dave, Dave Smegma. It's not on the business cards for obvious reasons. Call my mate Dave, he'll get that dishwasher fitted in a second. Won't even take him two weeks for parts, he can do it in a week. Well, there's been some delays, actually. Can, can you pay him up front? Anyway, he's got good stats, very good at melee, because of course he's good with his hands, knows how to use a tool. Uh, uh, <laughs> fuck, ban this series. Knows how to use his tools. Maybe if he had a trusty wrench, he'd be an unstoppable madman. Construction and mining, huge. If you need a, a, null, a wall knocking down, Dave's your man. If you need a wall building, Dave's your man. And of course, it is also represented there by the fact that he is a builder. Sanguine. He's a very happy guy, you know, he's happy with his lot in life. Being abducted as a kid, it left a bit of a scar on him, and now he's happy to just get what he gets in life. He doesn't matter too much if it's in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. He's, you know, oh, it could be worse, could be sober, oh, you know, it's Dave, it's Dave. People from the UK know what I'm talking about here. Now, Dave, unfortunately, does have the trait unstoppable. I say unfortunately because even though it's a good trait, comes from a bad place. He was, he was, he was uh, fitting some, he was doing some guttering down Kentway. He was provided, actually, the wrong sort of ladder. Fell, he claimed, with injury laws for you, £15,000, but he did get addicted to prescription opiates. So now he barely feels pain. In fact, he barely feels anything. That's probably why he's so happy all the time, right? Means if he hits his finger with a hammer, not a problem. Means if he gets bitten by a zombie, probably also not a problem. Tragic backstory for a great trait. There's a lineup. What do you think? Anyway, uh, that was all off the top of the head. I didn't plan any of that. So if it didn't make any fucking sense, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, weapons. Shit, of course. So one of the other requests was to give them a slightly better weapon. Now, I haven't really done that, but I have given them an extra weapon that's better than the first two weapons we started off with. We've got a lever action rifle. We've got a bolt action rifle. We've got a steel wrench. Because, of course, Dave with his wrench, they're inseparable. You know what the steel wrench is like. Giving them 12 packages of our meals. They pack four each because they're, you know, Dave knows how to pack a lunch. He's got to work. You know, he goes work and he gets in his white van all day. He's driving for four, five hours on the M5. He's 
He's got to pack a meal, right? He knows how to deal with that. Rifle ammo, we've got 120. They're both semi-automatic as far as I know. So that should provide us with quite a lot of firepower. We've got three days. Let's see what we can do in these first three days before these zombies turn up. I should have also mentioned, Dave, Sean, and Big Brain actually do share a house together, all housemates, and they've just... Oh, what's happened? Oh, man, this... London's looking a bit of a... Sh this is in London, by the way. Um, where's, where's Sean as well? Oh, Sean's... Sorry, Sean. Sean actually lives next door, but they're on the... It's the same landlord, so they all like to get together and bitch about the landlord. Um, all right, here we go. Sean's dogs? They're, they're not actually his dogs. They're his landlord's dogs. They just sort of, you know, live in there. They live upstairs with him. Wow, here we go then. Uh, it's not always a good sign when you leave the house. And there's immediately a guy there called Jordan Bob's Nowak with a flintlock pistol. All right. And then he's got his mate here, uh, his friend, actually Bear. Bear is friends with Dave. They work together on the building site. Bear came to warn Dave about the zombie apocalypse. Bear got killed. Looters. That's a problem here. Um, we actually do have to be very careful because we've got our boy Bubs. Right, let's get looted. Up and I'll, I'll, we'll actually, you know, we'll get on with the gameplay now. I'm sorry. That's, that's my aside there. That's my comedy routine for the day over. Right, now we can focus on some proper RimWorld. Dave, grab the meals. Oh, Dave started with a backpack. Oh, whoa, whoa, two of them started with a the backpack. I've never seen that before. Oh my god, two of them start with a backpack. We've never once had that before, have we? Am I going insane? We've got to decide where we want to bunker down. So the first thing we've got to do with these first couple of days then is... Has that got any... That's got some bullets in the chamber. Let's go grab those and let's take out Bubs wherever the hell he's gone. Kill him. Oh, that's a shame. Shit, I was, I was just going to wait and see if she managed to do that. Right, Dave, where was all our ammo? So what I'll do is I'll send Dave to go and track down the ammo. Sean, come grab yourself the rifle. When Dave gets the ammo, was that a Winchester? Oh, that would have been that would have been pretty appropriate, huh? Ah, there it is. Nice. And there's also Dave's wrench. It was, he lost that. He lost that. He was drunk. He chucked it out the window when he was drunk as a, as a joke. But then he immediately regretted it because it's quite an expensive wrench. Um, right, Big Brain, do you want to pick up the meals? Oh, she's actually still got a shot on Bubs there. Fine. We'll let her deal with that. Dave, grab this. I will also give him half the ammo as well. So let's pick up rifle ammo. No, no, no. Pick up rifle. Excuse me. Pick up rifle ammo. Let's take 60 of that. And then let's also send Sean to go and grab the rest. There we go. All right. Um, don't, does that add up? Does that add up? No, that absolutely doesn't. Oh, that doesn't matter too much, as long as he's left him something there. Right, Dave, go and help. Oh, man, they're in a firefight already. This is not a great start, is it? Right, you get around the corner. Sean, you come around here as well. Right, Dave and Big Brain. Oh, Sean's the one with the, with the shooting stat, right? So let's get Sean around there. Bubs has been... Bubs, we've maimed him. Uh, he's been shot in the arm. It's not going to really do much damage. It's certainly not going to kill him dead. Has he got a backpack we could borrow? He's got steel armor. Oh, my God, he's got a hyperweave t-shirt. It is tattered. And, of course, we haven't got any psychopaths this time around. So, we do have to be somewhat careful with that. Sean's out of ammo. Come on, Sean. My man. Re reload. Uh... Oh my god, does that not use... Oh my god, it is a Winchester. 40.44 Winchester rounds. We haven't got ammo for this rifle. Okay, I've installed a mod, actually, that, that reduces the amount of combat standard ammo we need. So I assumed a lever-action rifle would use rifle ammo. Silly me, huh? Um, it shouldn't matter too much. We should still be okay. We, we, need, we need to work on a reloading bench to really start off with, don't we? Get him, Dave. What's going on? Oh, he's back in cover. Right, what we'll do then, we'll bring Dave around here because he's obviously a less of an accurate shot. She's got a sniper, so when he pokes his head around, she should be able to take him down. You know what we could do? We could have Sean take the rifle, because Sean's a better shot here. So you come over here, drop this for Sean. There we go. You grab the rifle, Sean, and then we'll send Dave with his wrench around the back, because Dave is Dave's, Dave's known for being able to give someone a black eye, you know? Right, go on. Uh, you get that up as well. It, Dave's been in a bar fight, one or two bar fights in his time. Let's get that wrench equipped, my man. There we go. All right. This is good. Oh, we actually got him again. Good shot. None of our people are down yet. Right, Dave, let's flank him. Knock him down, Dave. Oh, he's pulled a knife. Of course, it's London. Of course he would. Right, um, Sean, let's go check around. Big Brain, let's not waste any time here. Let's immediately get to work with all three characters. So you strip Bear, because we might want his armor vest, even though it is it is tainted. Oh, Dave got stabbed. He's knifed him. He's not. What did he do? Bit of a slash, maybe? Uh, oh, he bruised him. As he fell over, he must have like tried to have him with that, have him with the handle, but missed. That's all right. Then nothing to worry about. Uh, let's strip him and let's finish him off. Go on, Dave. Take, take, you, you know how to strip a man, Dave. I believe in you. Oh, what's happening there? Attacking Labrador Retriever? What? Why? Well, stop. Stop it, you psychopath. What the fuck is wrong with you, you dog murderer? Okay. Um, Dave... Oh, we've got combat music again. Dave should take the armor vest. Dave should also take the cowboy hat, so I think he looked very fetching in that. Right, Big Brain, you've got the... Uh, let's get you to wear this armor vest. I know that it's tainted. It's not a big deal for the time being. Then we need to actually move through the city and sort of see what we can dig up then. Right, you head through here. Sean, come back outside. We'll give him the reload invest, because, of course, he, you know, actually does need to reload guns, unlike Dave. There we go. What are they firing at? Oh, my God, there's a person there. Oh, my God, is that a... That's an Org A1 carbine. Oh, they got ammo for that. Oh, fuck. Um, can we check your gear? You got Yayo? Uh, assault rifle ammo, 120. Oh, my God. Okay, another person's turn. It must have been a friend of Bub's there. Right, um... 
fucking Americans turning up in London with their with their assault rifles. G grab your meals. Grab grab the meals. It's not really a sentry right now, is it? We gotta wait for him to get closer anyway. Um, big brain. What about that rifle? Have you got any more ammo in it? She's out of sniper rifle. Okay. Um, how do we want to do this? And we need to flank her. Let's send Dave around the outside, around the outside, while Sean lays some cover and fire. There we go. Let's get you out here, Dave. Oh god, Sean just got shot. Ah, oh, fuck. You're right. He's okay. It's fine. Just shot in the torso. That's that's not not lethal, is it? Right. Dave is gonna come around the outside and knock him down. Oh god, why is he shooting the dog for you, fucking psychopath? It's a stray dog. Yeah, I better kill that. Right, there we go. Get in there. Okay, big brain. I'm gonna say we rush him down. This might be a horrible idea, but I'm gonna say we rush him down. Oh, careful. Nice, good shot. Okay, take him. Let's knock him. Knock him down. Knock him down. Okay, good work. Oh, man, this is good. Holy shit, I feel like we've handled these early encounters pretty decently, huh? Okay, he needs immediate tending. So what we can do, we'll flip that into a medical bed. Let's claim it, go for medical. You immediately go rest until here. We need to find him. Oh, well, we've got ourselves an Orge 1 carbine. That sounds pretty good, huh? Um, right, so big brain, go ahead and get that one equipped. I'd love to keep all of this shit that we're finding, to be honest with you. We could even turn this into our start base. In fact, this neighborhood is quite nice. This neighborhood is quite nice. We could we could build some walls and really fortify this starting zone, huh? It might not be too bad. All right, so Big Brain's got that. Um, inject Go Juice. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no, actually. Right, let's set that to single fire because we want to conserve as much ammo as possible. She actually can't carry anymore. Fine. You know what? I might be, I could be easily convinced to use this as our home base. Drop that shit on the floor. There we go. Let's grab ourselves, mainly because we've got this nice little courtyard area for growing crops and whatnot. Okay, I think this is a good plan. Let's start setting up home base then. Sean, go get yourself rested up, my boy. Um, who's our doctor? Oh, Big Brain is. Yeah, yeah, Let's get you through here. Um, quickly, Sean. Quickly, into bed. Into bed, into bed, into bed. Right, right, right. You tend. Dave is immediately going to start construction work. Let's start some construction work, my boy Dave. So I think all these walls here, these have got to go. These have got to go, mate. They're not load-bearing. We don't need those. So let's go ahead and select similar. Let's claim the lot. Let's uninstall the lot. Dave, are you... You're right. You don't need to be tended or anything. It's just bruised. You could probably self-tend, to be honest, for for something just like that. It's 3.6 minutes. It doesn't matter. You know, it's really... Oh, we can't even tend him because it's... Yeah, it's, it's bruised. Who cares? Right. All right. Um, right. Let's start work on these walls, then, and start fortifying this area. I actually kind of like the spawn. I, I genuinely really do. I think this could be quite a good starting area we've got here. Oh, do we also want to... Uh, when he's tended, you go and strip. You go and strip this other guy, just in case he gets. In fact, we should probably take him out, huh? Um, strip him off. There we go. And then, uh, I mean, can we just mark this finish off? There we go. Um, take him down. Finish off. Uh, Mali six skill required. Ah, oh, for the love of fuck, Dave. When you're done uninst uninstalling them walls, mate, I got a job for you here. Thank you very much. Take him down. Dave's not. Dave's not averse to taking down someone like that. There we go. That's it. Get the wrench. One swift, swift blow to the temple. That will do it. Trust me. You don't need to. Worry, you don't need to worry too much about whether or not they died painlessly. They, they absolutely did. Okay then. Um, this is fine. So what do we want to fortify then? We want to get these walls on the outer area as much as possible, right? So I'm thinking we'll install that one there. We'll get this one. This one there. Now, we also want to put embrasures down this time. That's one thing I'm very much guilty of not doing last time was not installing enough embrasures. So, we didn't know really what we were defending against here. Right, Dave, my man. Let's get to work on that. So, what I'm going to do then, if we just untick him, he should just start working, right? Um, let's set up schedules then. Let's set up schedules because I'm actually kind of committed to this already. Normally, I wouldn't maybe go so nuts for setting up schedules or whatever this early on because... At the end of the day, we are in. Uh, we are still in the early game. We could very much just be shot by a wandering dude immediately here. But this is their neighborhood. This is where they're from, and I like the idea of keeping this place as their their sort of homeland. Right. Um. Let's copy that. Paste. Paste. There we go. All right. Big brain. You, my friend, come grab yourself a tactical vest. She doesn't have a backpack, does she? So this will help her carry a little bit more stuff here. All right. Nice. What do you want to do then? Um. Dave can work on that. That's no problem. I think we want to get these bodies out here to start off with. We don't want to dump them too close to the base, though. Let's just go dump them in the main road. It's it's London. You expect to see that type of thing. All right, haul that shit urgently and haul that shit urgently. Um, you start work on that. Let's get them out here because that's just mood that we're losing for no reason. Sean, how are you doing? Are you at any risk of dying or infection or anything like that? Because if you're not, I'm just going to say, suck it up, mate. Yeah? Suck it up. Can we get to, can we get to work already? Let's check him out. Health. I mean, it's not been fantastically well tended, is he? Um, 36 out of 50, 11 out of 25. I want his pelvis to... Of course, it would be his bloody pelvis. I want his pelvis to heal a little bit more before we really commit to that. I like this neighborhood, though. I think this is quite a nice little starting zone. Um, so what do we want to do, then? Do you want to set this south wall as, up as our perimeter? So maybe we want to take this building out entirely, you know, reinstall these beds, that type of thing. I'm actually going to do that. Um, set this up as sort of our main common building. That could be good. And have just sort of like separate bedrooms, that type of thing. This could be a bedroom. This could be a bedroom. This could be a bedroom. And have this area all opened up. That could work quite well. There you go. You can install that one there. Um, let's claim all of this. 
And let's go ahead and designate... I mean, we could designate the whole thing as our home area, but I want to be careful doing that. Because like I said, if the walls go down suddenly, those guys will see, oh, there's, you know, there's a bit of dirt that he's killing on the other side of the walls. They'll rush out there and get themselves killed. We want to remove roof area. That's pretty important. So let's get all that shit done. How's it going, Dave? How's the walls coming along? This is nice. This is a great start. Big Brain, you can you can come and help out, my man. You go and, you go and help out with the base a little bit. Get that shit reinstalled. Dave's going to start removing the roof here. This will be a nice starting area. This is, this is, oh, there's another bed there. Look at this. Fantastic stuff. Let's get that reinstalled. This will be another bedroom then. Um, if we can get this wall reinstalled over to here. Because uh, I might actually want to claim this. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, Dave, my man. We can't have you. Okay, let's set, let's set up some manual jobs then for the time being. I want you to patient, but not right now. Uh, I think that's the important thing. So, oh, sorry, sorry. No, patience should be top. Bed rest is good, but not that important right now. Let's max out this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Not too concerned about any of these for the time being. You should always be number one. Let's get rid of that. Uh, that's not important either. Hunting is going to be probably entirely irrelevant the entire campaign. So let's not worry about that one either. Um, Dave and Sean, both capable of repairing. I'd rather Dave be... I mean, Dave could definitely take the... Is that combat music? I can't really tell, but let's not worry about it. Um, everybody needs to be harvesting. Oh, everyone needs to be growing. Maybe not harvesting so much. Maybe we'll just leave that to Big Brain and uh, and Sean a little bit there. Right, so we've got harvest and grow. That's pretty good. Um, Sean, you know what? You should be you should actually, actually take the initiative on that one because you're not super useful at anything else there. There we go. And then plant cut will max out because, of course, we'll just be manually, uh, we'll manually be doing that anyway. Um, this stuff, all kind of irrelevant. This stuff's all irrelevant. I'm going to get rid of all of this shit for the time being, because I don't think we need to worry about it until we've at least got a base set up, huh? There we go. Crafting is relevant. This one's relevant. This one's relevant. Delivery. Hauling is necessary just to keep there, so they're actually capable of hauling urgently. There we go. Okay. That's a good start. Um, Sean and Dave, if I just go ahead and do that, they should get out and, and actually start working on the base then. Very nice stuff. So they're sort of manually wandering into some of these other buildings. Now might be the best time to go and just sort of have a peek around, see what we've got. Man, this is quite a nice area to start building up in, huh? Okay, this is another good perimeter wall then. That's fine. Okay, good stuff. And then we've got a lot of buildings over here as well. This is nice. I actually think I picked a pretty good zone to start off with. We've got this nice little sort of central contained area. We've got some very clearly defined walls as well. What about this massive monolith of a building up here then? Oh, it's just a, like a little alleyway or something. Okay, fair enough. And then this is all one big building as well that we could try and claim. Not bad. Okay, not too terrible at all then. Um, we might want to actually move the walls around there and open this all up, but for the time being, it's 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 fine. It'll do. What we need to make sure is we haven't got any doors to the outside world. Let's go ahead, uninstall that, cancel it, reinstall it into. So we're gonna have a bedroom there, bedroom there, and then we've got. Oh, we've already got like three bedrooms. Oh, that works out pretty well. Um, let's get that door put on there then for another bedroom. This shit will all deal with in a minute, but for the time being, I think we can have a good night's sleep and not have to worry about things too much. Um, big brain. Go get yourself, go get yourself some time off. What are you doing? Playing chess. Oh, okay. Let's be very careful about doing this, but I'm happy for her to go and explore the map. Find some recreation. That way we can bring it over to the base tomorrow. Oh, batteries as well. Uh, you know what? Let's just let them sort of do their own thing. Right, we found Game of Earth, we got chess, we got batteries. Got to be careful doing this much, uh, just sort of passive wandering around, to be honest with you. Just in case, obviously, there are, you know, people kicking around, wild animals, raiders. I don't know what we could find out in this wilderness of the city of London. We do need to be somewhat careful, though. Day two. We've got two more... Well, the start of day two. We've got two more days left until, until the zombies come. That's the most important thing. So this area will probably turn into some sort of stockpile. I'm just making sure these outer borders... There we go. Okay, so the friendly eye has already got in contact with us. That's kind of what I was hoping for with that... Uh with that changing of the message there. Okay, so we just got to make sure everything's nicely patched up. I've had Dave actually expand the wall down south. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but it gives us just a little bit area. You know, just a little bit of bonus zone for growing crops, whatever else. We'll remove this wall in the middle as well. That way we've only really got the, like, sort of this big building here and this big building here to focus on. I think that makes a lot more sense because the base we had last time, massive, sprawling, really unnecessary as well. What have we even got in here? A um, couple of bedrooms. Okay, you know, we could incorporate this as well. No reason we couldn't. Um... Let's go ahead and uninstall that, reinstall it into here then. Uh, let's go ahead and uninstall that and reinstall that one into there as well. Thank you, Dave. When you are done wandering around like a fucking fool, that would be appropriate. Nice. Okay. This way, if we do find any more people, somehow, we've got something else. Oh, man, I completely forgot about water, huh? Not a big deal. It is giving him a little bit of opportunity to scout the base out a little more. Oh, my God. There's a grand penetrating scanner. Oh, my God. There's a, there's a stove. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... You know what, maybe just having them wander around the map like this to start off with wasn't such a bad plan, huh? This kind of worked out pretty well. So get yourself some fresh water straight from the Thames. It's good for you. It's good for character building. Right, okay. Um, 
So, let's plan this out a little bit more. So, what have they found that we really want to keep? I mean, Steel Dresser, obviously, would be fantastic. Let's reinstall that into one of the bedrooms. Any sort of bonus comfort furniture is just fantastic. Um, let's claim that one, and let's reinstall that one into here, because this bedroom really has nothing going for it right now. There we go. I'm going to put another door on that one, and, in fact, what I'll do is I'll have the bedrooms only enter e e enterable. Is that the right word? Um, I only, I only have one entrance, essentially, uh, just to limit the amount of, sort of, mishaps that could happen right here we go let's move that over there this is a nice little base huh this is a nice little base right we've basically got a whole dining room set up already so let's uninstall that they did find a chair yesterday when they went to relax socially i think it was four by four so let's get that shit reinstalled where was it it was okay cool claim that one let's get this one stuck down as well thank you very much whenever everyone's done uh, fucking wandering around good lord whenever you're ready boys it's not like we've got um a whole day of potentially being murdered ahead of us what the fuck are they doing why are they not working uh Dave, my man, what are you doing? There we go, okay. Just got to draft and undraft them, unfortunately. All right, that's fine. Um, so this one, I think, will just actually reinstall the comms console. I'm kind of tempted to strip it for parts, but also I think it'd be kind of useful just to have that around, huh? Right, let's get working on this next then. Thank you very much. So get that reinstalled. Let's get this claimed and reinstalled down into here as well. Got a lot of cables running through the base, kind of in convenient places too. Yeah, we do. That's, that's, that's very nice. Um, let's get this into here. So this is going to be our sort of... Um, it's gonna be like kitchen, dining room. I don't really know. I haven't really planned it much out yet. Um, this area all needs to go. Let's make sure we've got no roof over half of this stuff as well. So remove roof area over all of this. The out external walls doesn't really matter too much, does it? Um, I'll probably best to build a roof area over the whole thing and specify what we actually don't want being roofed over instead. Can we grab these turrets and these batteries, or are they just something that we're not allowed to interact with? Because there's no there's no ability here to. Oh, I best I bet we have to kill all the hostiles on the map. Oh, that sucks, because we have no idea where any of those hostiles actually might be. Fine, you know what? I'm going to send Big Brain on, on a, on a one-man mission here to maybe try and dig up some batteries or find anything. Oh, there's someone. They're in power armor. Oh, shit. Uh, they've got an SMG as well. Let's be careful, then. Let's be very, very careful. I think we'd have to kill all the hostiles on the map to be able to use, um, to be able to use all of that stuff. So that could be a real problem, especially if we can't get any batteries set up off the, off the get-go here. So I've got them reinstalling stoves, chest tables, game of that type of thing. What I might do for the time being is actually send these dudes to go and flush out that guy that we just saw. I hope they don't get horribly murdered. That would, that would really annoy me if we got horribly murdered this early on. Um, Big Brain, don't you have a gun? What's that rifle that you found? Um, okay, we, we put it there. Go and equip that. Let's get everyone together and let's go see if between them we can take this guy out before he starts causing us issues, huh? Right, uh... Single fire. Let's go reload. Perfect. She's only got nine hollow point bullets, huh? Oh, we gotta make this fucking count. Oh, God. We've got assault rifle. Oh, and then we got more up there. Okay, go and, go and pick that up as well. Right, pick that up. Dave, did you not get a gun as well, my man? Oh, did we... Oh, we've run out of ammo. That was it. So we've got a lever action rifle as well somewhere that um, we don't have enough ammo for. We've got, like, a front lock pistol with lead balls required for it. Okay, that's a bit pointless as well. Um, Sean, come grab yourself an armor vest, my man, because you're still injured from your previous shooting. There we go. Okay. This is a nice little showdown. Everybody's got an armor vest. Everybody's got a weapon. Let's go and see if we can flush out this dude with power armor and see if that will let us steal these batteries. Okay, he's actually on the other side of this wall. No one say anything because we've got to be very, very careful because, again, he is a dude in power armor. Should we just rush him? I'm thinking we just fucking rush him down. Oh! Oh, big brain! Oh, fuck, Dave. Please, you need to die because otherwise we can't we can't actually build our base, which is um, obviously fucking horrible. Luckily, these bullets didn't do a huge amount of damage. Dave still hasn't taken anything. Torso, left arm, no problem whatsoever. Can we just get in there and melee attack him to death? Is this going to work? Go on, big brain. Get your revenge. There we go. Come on. Hit him in the head. Hit him in the head. He's got power armor, so we've just got to pray. Otherwise, there's no way we can get... Uh... Otherwise, there's no way we can get batteries, and that would obviously basically mean the game over anyway. Please. Please just do it. Come on. Take him down. I can't afford to lose you right now. The terrifying army. I am I am very terrified. You're not wrong. I, mean, I might as well just play on speed three, because unfortunately... Oh, there we go. It's not going to make any difference whether or not we plan speed one or speed two. Yes, that's it. Oh my god, we've got him. Holy shit, that was risky, huh? That was risky. Can we claim the batteries now? Is that is that the last enemy in the area? No, we still can't. Okay. Um, We did get, however, a nice SMG. We did get ourselves fucking power armor. We got ourselves some power armor. Who needs immediate tending to? Uh, Big Brain, you need to self-tend absolutely immediately. Um, Can we just get you to... Oh, there's... Out there's medicine somewhere on the map you know for the time being then doctor cat just just self-tend just self-tend where you stood my man because otherwise this is quickly going to get out of hand but now 11 hours why can't i self-tender um excuse me there we go right okay um dave strip shen 
Dave wear the power armor because it's it's Dave. I think if anybody needs power armor, it's Dave at this point. Um, Sean, can we pick can we pick up all this shit? I don't think we're gonna be able to pick up all this shit, are we? Um, carrying too much stuff anyway. But some of it is so so nice. Um, can we carry any of this home? Let's see if we can just get that. Can we can we maybe get that picked up, my man? There we go. Uh, what if we pick up the SMG as well? There we go. Uh, you can you can wear the hat. We don't. There we go. We got ourselves some rootin' tootin' cowboys. Um, or he's just gonna haul it home. Whatever. Pick up the cartridges and let's pick up the. Can you pick up the backpack? My God, what the fuck can't he pick up? Good lord, he's an unstoppable juggernaut of a man. Let's just get all of it. Fuck it. Oh, chemical interest. We don't really. Oh no, don't do that. We don't want the uh, yayo to be honest with you, but that's okay. Right, just take everything. Uh, just take everything, right? How's she doing? Feeling depressed. Understandable, really. You have just been absolutely peppered. Luckily, it was only a, a, a sort of pathetic amount of bullets there. He's bleeding out six hours. Right, go home. Go home. Hopefully, that is one of the last raiders we're going to see for a while. What is he doing? Okay, he's going to check out one of the bigger buildings. Just going for a wander. The zombies aren't here for a while yet, so we can still safely do this. There's a yampy dog. <laughs> <laughs> There's a yampy dog. The local Yorkshire Terrier has gone mad. Okay. Um, prep your rifle. I don't even know if this will be enough to stop him. These fucking dogs. Little dogs always have the biggest bite, don't they? Little shits. Right, there we go. Right, so we've got ourselves a dining table. Um, we need to deal with this power issue because we, we're going to have a real problem if we if we have to do battery research. Otherwise, we're going to be running on basically whatever power we can scrounge up. 17 hours. I'm, I'm kind of thinking let's, let's do these last 17 hours with just trying to find... Any sort of power. I'm worried about going back out into the world again and getting these boys killed. Uh, Dave can't even move right now. Oh, God, he's got dehydration. Right. Shit. Um, that sucks. Have we got wet? Oh, my God. Thank God we picked an area. We got fucking water. Thank God I extended to this, huh? Otherwise, we'd have had nothing. All right. Um, get rid of this, then. Let's get rid of some of these walls as well. Um, who's capable of building? Dave is. But, of course, Dave is... <clears throat> Dave happens to be... Alright, administer fluids to Dave. God knows what she's going to administer fluid there. And I don't even want to speculate on that. Because, of course, uh, this is YouTube in 2018, 2019. I don't want to be... I don't want to be banned forever. Sean, your job. Go out and find us some... Go and find us some fucking power, my man. Because this time, we are really in a bit of a... A bit of a shit. Unless you can dig something up from somewhere. Okay, um... There's a dead man there wearing power armor. Oh my god, we found another set of power armor. Oh my god, we found another set of power armor. Oh my god, and he's got a helmet too. I don't even care if it's tainted. I don't give a shit. Um, oh, he's got a shield belt. Oh my god. Um, oh god, shit. We've only got 10 more hours till the zombies come. Um, right, okay. Let's stop. Let's stop for a second. Let's think about this. Big Brain, what are you doing? Get the comms console. Fine. Acceptable. That's an acceptable use of your time. Get the stove. Also an acceptable use of your time. Get that shit installed. Uh, this as well. To claim it reinstall it. I mean, we don't obviously want it, but I want to reinstall it just because the components in it are so valuable. Um, we might have to go out and actually face the zombies this series. That'd be a nice little change of pace, huh? Alright, let's queue that up as well. Oh, hide in room. Fuck, 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 fuck. Um, reserved by Big Brain. Well, she's on mental break, my man. Nope, she's on mental break, my man, so you are, you are incorrect. Oh, because it's queued. Ah, fuck. Okay. Um, Sean, I'm gonna make you stay awake all night. Oh, god, I'm really... This is risky. Still reserved, huh? Fuck, that's bad. How are we supposed to... It sucks that we can't claim the batteries unless we've cleared out the map. It's the same way as I assume any raid would work. Um, so we've got another one there. We could just hook that up to the grid. It's fairly close to our base. I, mean, I don't think we need to claim it to drain the power out of it, do we? Um, let's send Sean on just like this one-man mission. He's got five hours to try and find any sort of power. Shit, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I don't like this. Any sort of solar panel would be fantastic. Um... Just follow the roads, because that will quickly show us what we need. Oh my god, there's Glitter World Medicine in there. Um, right, okay, stick to the roads. Stick to the larger areas. Something went zzz. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, pff, shit, this is bad, huh? This is legitimately quite a problem. Um, okay, so power might be a concern, but it's the only real concern we've got right now. In terms of armor, we are absolutely golden in that regard. Uh, in terms of defenses, also doing pretty well. What are you hooked up to? Battery. <gasps> We've done it. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is massive. Oh my god, this is massive. Um, it doesn't matter where we put it. It really does not matter where we put it. Stick it in there. Fine. Fuck it. Oh my god, you've saved the colony. I'm eternally grateful. Holy fucking shit. What's he doing? Did he construct a power conduit? No, 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 no. Oh god. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I didn't realize that you couldn't. Okay, alright. Reinstall that. This is so big. This is a this is a golden. This is a golden day for the colony. Right. Um, try again. Prioritize working on it. Shit. This is so good. Zombies are here. That they're here now. Oh no. 
The zombies are here now. Are we ready? I mean, clearly not. We've got holes in the fucking walls and stuff. Uh, you know what? Work on that in a second. Let's get these walls patched up. All right, there we go. Now, where else is a, a problem for the colony right now? Um, it's just this this entrance area here. This is what's really causing us some issues. Simple, simple way to solve that is just do that, huh? Everyone's trapped in. And that is it. We're in now. We found a battery, which I'm so pleased about, because that means we can actually get power out of things. No components. That is a concern. That's my only problem with this whole thing, is we have no components right now. So that could be a real problem. It actually wouldn't have been a problem if these fuckers hadn't of... What's wrong with her? Oh, she claps you to extreme exhaustion. You know what? I'm going to set the schedule to anything for the time being. Oh, sorry, did that say three infections? Oh, right, because he's really not doing well, huh? Okay, I honestly thought that said three infections then for a second. I was about to cry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the schedules to anything for the time being. Uh, and then we'll just let them do what they want for a couple of days. Just let them do what they want. I'll set them some general goals. Plant crops, for example, would obviously be very nice. Dig a well, obviously, is going to be massive too. Um, in fact, we should really start working on that probably before we leave off today. Otherwise, I will forget. Um, all right, get all this shit down as soon as possible. There we go. Look at that. Look at that right there. It's not the best farm, but we can dig all this shit up, no problem. Right, so what wood have we got access to? Sort of this stuff down here. Are you all right? Consume your simple meal. After that, get rid of this dresser. Let's get rid of this dresser. Let's start working on a well as soon as possible, because obviously fresh water generally tends to be fairly important, huh? When you're trying not to die horribly. Um, did we get the recreation installed? No, we didn't. That sucks as well. It's not a big deal. It would have only saved us a little bit of resources, um, but it would have been nice nonetheless. Okay, uh, hygiene. Let's get this well in, and then I am happy with that. Um, oh, we've already got it. We've already got it put down there. Uh, excuse me. Prioritize working on that. And that should be everything we need to worry about for the time being. You can get infected from untreated groundwater. We are pumping water straight from the earth under a city. If you're right, that's asking for trouble immediately. No. Oh, it's nowhere near us, so I don't give a shit. Okay, that's not a problem at all. My god, I thought we were actually going to be hit by... Hopefully, they'll fight the zombies. I mean, in theory, they should. Keep an eye on this. Um, they're immediately just going to work as insects hives would. Have we got the water down, then? Thank you. Oh, my lord. They can wash in that. They can drink from that. This is good. This has been an absolutely fantastic start. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think of the changes for this series. Let me know what tips and advice you have at dealing with the small compound we've got right now. Three good characters in an okay situation. We've got ourselves power armor. We've got ourselves cowboy hats. We've got ourselves some good weapons. We've got a comms console, which is very, very big when we can start setting things up here. No reason we couldn't become a little crafty base. You know, sell things to the spaceships. They drop shit down in exchange for that. Might help us get through this initial starting thing. I think we're safe. If you see any holes in the base, let me know about that as well. And, uh... I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think, because I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one. I think this is a fantastic start. Then we've got a fun little base, and you know, it's where we spawned as well. So, hasn't been too much pissing around today. Thank you all for watching. Let's give a shout out to the patrons, without which none of these series would be possible, because YouTube in 2019 would be really risky doing that. And that's a risk that these guys let us take. Let's give a thank you to Alpha Scuff, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Bacon Kitten, Sadini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Musk Ratful, Nat Buskus 911, Nathan Flores, Necrofill, and Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Shayok Sinclair, Stannis the Manus, The Forsaken One, t by Cruz, Tom Terry, Team, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backus, and William Green. Thank you for your support, the Insane Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making this channel possible. Hope some of you guys are looking forward to getting some names added because I feel like this time around. I feel like we're going to try and rescue some people. What about pirate ships? Could you buy slaves? And then... I never considered that. That's a good idea. If you want a slave named after you... Oh no. We got banned. And a big thank you, of course, has to go out as well to Asro, Adam Person, Aiden W, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Bordoom, Ben Trope, Esmus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 7, Easy to Pronounce Name, Emerald Beam, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gompo, Grey, Haji Damar, Henrik Stensgard, Icarus, Icy the Great, Irish, Israel, Isaac Burrows, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoranda Reese, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew Monty, Nathaniel Lundberg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Simon, Panther Pell, Paper 137, Peyton Dennis, Rush Smart One, Talar, the Bloody Knight, the Longcree, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Wilson Atef, Wolfie, Yorka, Sicko, all the other patrons, all the Twitch subscribers. See you guys tomorrow for a little more, a little more tasty treats. Some more tasty zombie. Hopefully we're not the tasty treats though. That would that would suck.